So, uh, in the first half of the uh, morning, our, uh, we have uh, one more presentation before uh, the break, which is scheduled at uh, 10.30. Uh, so, our next speaker is Dr. Noura uh, al -Habbani. Uh She is uh, an assistant professor in the Department of uh, Chemistry in King Saud uh, University uh, in Riyadh. Um, and her work is all in uh, uh, organic uh, chemistry and uh, radio, uh, um, uh, uh, pharmaceuticals. Um, and this is in fact that the, uh, I think some of the uh, subject of her talk uh, is about uh, uh, today. So I'll ask uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Noura uh, to come to the podium. Yeah. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I will give talk about uh, uh, brief talk about my chemistry today. Uh, rhenium tetrametaphosphate complexes uh, synthesis characterization application as potential radiopharmaceuticals. Radiopharmaceuticals are drugs containing radionuclides with an end structure. It's generally used for diagnostic purpose and for therapeutic treatments. Rhenium and technetium are members of a group seven, is characterized by stable oxidation state in compounds from minus one to seven. I use technetium, the atomic, of techne uh, atomic radius of technetium is similar to the rhenium. There are many similarities found in chemistry between these two elements. The use of advantage of the technetium are short life, have six hours, it's short life, high photon yield, 89 percentage, and also uh, no beta radiation just gamma radiation. This is give a uh, low re explored radiation for the patient. Uh, the generator of the technetium is uh, available uh, in uh, hospitals and low cost. Why I use rhenium uh, tricarbonyl core? This core uh, have D6 low spin, uh, electro configuration, and uh, high kinetic thermodynamic stable. Is there are three carbonyl fictionally arranged. The three carbonyl are fictionally arranged within three vacant sites in the compounds, in the core. There are two methodology when design technetium and rhenium coupled with biological active models. The first one and the most appendage approach is abandoned design, which metal complex is abundantly with a targeting active site, bifunctionalized with the clators. The, cl the linker here I use it as amine or side of the sh uh, shine of the lysine. In this, in this design, the metal complex being uh, allocated uh, far away from the targeting active site. The second design is integrated design, which the metal complex or metal core is uh, in incorporated directly to the ligands or to the active site. Here I use the ligand as active site as also as a crater. It's believed that uh, technetium 99M phosphate co complexes could be uh, imaging wood. It's believed that the that mature mineralized matrix of the bone is called critical bone, consisted primarily of the 
crystallize of the hydroxyapatite. The source of the growth of this phosphate comes from the uh, hydrolysis of the phosphate, of, uh, the hydrolysis of the uh, crystallines uh, by the enzymatic of the phos uh, of the in vivo. <coughs> we injected the, uh, the technetium 19M. We can see the mud in the middle. The calcium are faced to the uh, technetium. Since that discovery, a variety of the ligands containing glyphosate could be used, have been utilized to be used as a technetium uh, complexes. Phosphate, phosphonate compounds are more uh, most stable and more <coughs> preferable than the phosphate one because the phosphate oxygen phosphorus oxygen bond can be cleaved down by the enzymatic uh, in the, uh, during the hydrolysis in the vivo while the phosphorus carbon bond is not affected Technetium 199M methylene diphosphonate have been used, uh, has been approved as a most popular uh, scanning agent. We can see in the figure for, uh, A, a normal scan for the skeleton can be clear from the front and the back, while B, Scanning show the bone metastasis as a hot spot. When I said bone metastasis, I mean bone cancer. So the aim of this work, I will synthesize a metaphosphate. I will synthesize a series of novel ligands containing phosphate could be used for imaging bone. The Commons group has recently developed tetrametaphosphate chemistry in organic uh, media. In one particularly interesting tetrametaphosphate anhydride, uh, the scheme uh, uh, showing a synthetic growth when uh, treated BBN salt of tetrametaphosphate with trifluoroacetic anhydride in acetone yielding dihydrogen of tetrametaphosphate. This reacted with dihydrating agent to, to effort tetrametaphosphate anhydride. The solid structure for this compound shows the two negatively terminal phosphate are bent away from each other due to the repulsion, uh, electrostatic repulsion. The phosphorus NMR for this compound shows two triplet signals of the phosphor at minus 25 and minus 33. So we use this compound to synthesize our phosphorylation with different molecules. We started with alcohol. The bridge phosphorus, oxygen phosphorus, was cleft when treated with any hydroxyl uh, uh, nucleophilic, uh, such as methanol, yielding an acid of tetrametaphosphate methyl ester. The solid structure shows the hydroxyl and the methyl residue are opposing to each other with phosphoryl uh, residues. 
the phosphorus uh, NMR shows signals triplet for phosphorus bonding with methoxy group and multiplet with other three phosphorus. The protein NMR shows a broad band at 13 BBM due to the hydroxyl protein and doublet at 3.7 due to the methoxy phosphorus, protein of the methoxy. Also, if we treated this compound, tetramethophosphate anhydride, with one equivalent of different of me amino alcohol yielding tetramethophosphate ester. These compounds synthesize and full characterization. Since phosphate containing nitrogen display a certain of a degree of anti-tumor activity, so I decided to treat it, the compound tetramethophosphate with amine. If we react it with excess isopropyl amine with tetramethophosphate yielding tetramethophosphate amidate, the solid structure shows the bonding between phosphorus and nitrogen Distance 1.5. For characterization, the phosphorus in MR shows a signal triplet at minus 13 for phosphorus bonding with nitrogen and multiplet at minus 24 to minus 26 for other three phosphorus. Also, if we treat it with tertiary butyl amine with tetramethophosphate yielding tetramethophosphate amidate, the solid structure shows the phosphorus bonding with nitrogen assigned in a phosphorus NMR at minus 15 and multiplet for other three phosphorus. Also, phosphorylation reaction with cyclohexyl amine. And when reacted with diethylene triamine, yielding tetramethophosphate amidate, I used this compound as a linker when we designed a vintage design. Synthesis and characterization of rhenium complexes based on integrated design if we react tetramethophosphate and methyl ester with tricarbonyl rhenium precursor in acetonitrile, yielding a complex, the IR spectrum shows a three vibrational stretching of carbonyl band. The mass spectrum of the Complex shows the molecular ion at 6 or 2. Also, if you react, this is general reaction, if you react tetramethophosphate ester with different amino alcohols that we have synthesized before with rhenium triplet precursor in acetonitrile reflexes at 80 degrees degree for one hour, yielding a complexes, the typical uh, vibrational mode of the carbonyl were absorbed in IR. This mass spectra for the one of the complex of the rhenium, showing the molecular ion. Also, in general reaction with we treated tetramethyl amidate, reacted with rhenium precursor, yielding a complexes. I, vibrational mode of the carbonyl were absorbed. 
mass spectra of the one of the complex, the molecular ion shown 643. To synthesis arenium based on a bended design, we started to synthesize a clater, DTBA and H2 clater, by esterification of diethylene triamine pentaacetic acid with hydroxysaxanamide, yielding a compound, a clater, and conjugated the clater with the linker that I already synthesized before. The, clater, the linker have uh, active site, then reacted with rhenium precursor to yielding a metal complex, have a clater and linker with active site. Characterization uh, of the clater. Also, I synthesis a rhenium uh, complex with trimetaphosphate with the, then substitution the cation of BBN with calcium to afford a complex having unit rhenium, oxygen, phosphorus, oxygen, calcium. To make this complex, to understand, to, to give us ability to understand the hydroxy uh, appetite bending that I mentioned in the similar model. In conclusion, I synthesis characterization of tetrametaphosphate and hydride with diff and phosphorylation reaction with different <coughs> molecules ligand with amino with methanol with different amino alcohols with amines and also synthesis and characterization of rhenium complexes based on integrated design and based on bended design. For future work, I will complete synthesis. I will complete synthesis uh, several novel uh, of uh, ligands, frame ligands, to be used as a technetium application for bone imaging. And also, I will be develop a novel of uh, rhenium isotopes 186 and technetium 99M labeling compounds having a high affinity for bone and a low accumulation of the radioactive of in other organs. To achieve this goal, I will be synthesis a clators, uh, stable clators with rhenium like MAGA3 and also I will be uh, synthesized a new uh, macrocyclic li uh, ligands or clators with different metals like gallium or indium. I take this opportunity to express my gratitude uh, to Professor uh, Cummins for his guidance and uh, support and for uh, thankful for the uh, group members for their help and support. Uh, I also express my warm thanks to uh, Kate and Teresa and uh, Professor Kamal. Thank you for uh, also thanks uh, Ar Saudi Aramco for funding this project. And thank you all for attending uh, my presentation. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Mora. Uh, any questions or comments? Yes. All right. Uh, very nice presentation. I, I wanted to ask you what your what are your thoughts on the biocompatibility of the PM bond? Beyond the bond, uh, it's uh, it's play uh, important. Uh, uh, to anti-active, uh, uh, to anti-tumor activity. I guess 
guess I'm trying to ask, what do you think will be the, um, the stability in vivo of the phosphorus nitrogen bonds? That yeah, it's, uh, it's more stable than uh, phosphorus carbon. Yes, uh, Dr. How these, how these compounds are effective as compared to uh, gold-based uh, uh, material that people are using for cancer therapy nowadays? I'm not uh, here, by the way. Does your material how is superior than the gold complexes which people are already trying for uh, I mean, treatment of cancer are in the world? Uh, just uh, that uh, the technetium with methylene diphosphonate that had been uh, approved, and not uh, uh, the any phosphate with nitrogen bond. No, there is no experience. Do you want to make the distinction between imaging versus therapy? Yes. Yeah. The imaging uh, is uh, for if I use a technetium, uh, 99 m as showing like. I use a technetium 99M with my uh, ligands. After injection, the technetium 99M, it will be showing as a hot spot in the skeleton for uh, treatment there. If I use a rhenium isotopes 186, it will be used as a therapeutic treatment. It's not for imaging. Thank you. Thank you. Questions or comments? Yeah. Okay, so let me uh, thank you again. <laughs> so this is a uh, small award. So I'd like to thank uh, all of our speakers uh, this morning. Um, as you know, we have uh, three more uh, presentations. These will be after the break. Uh